Mr. Xavier Echeverria, the repair of the breach, the restore of paths for many to dwell in, of my Father's Ten Commandments. God's law of love written with the finger of God in Exodus 31, 18. Your first four commandments, your love for God. Your next six commandments, your love for one another. We're going to be going over commandment number four. It says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord created the heavens and the earth and the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord God blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Now, according to that commandment, which one of these is correct? Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? If you guess the seventh day, you're correct, according to the Bible. If you guess Friday, the Muslims come together on Fridays. This is the day they worship on. So they're, they're, they're off. They're not the right religion. Sunday worships worship on Sunday, the venerable day of the sun. Constantine instituted that in 321 A.D. A.D. means Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. And that's the first day of the week. So I'm helping you guys actually, I'm helping you guys actually weed out all the false religions. Okay. The Muslims don't have it right because they worship on Friday. Sunday worship, worship on the wrong day because they worship on Sunday. The sun worship, the day the sun worships come to get, came together was the first day of the week. Now God's holy commandment says, remember the Sabbath to keep it holy, which all the world has forgotten is the original one from the beginning of the creation. Even the Jews got this right. They worship on the seventh day of the week. The only difference between them and us is they don't. most of them don't accept the Son of God, Jesus Christ, as their Lord and Savior, as the rest of the world does. But anyways, this is the correct seventh day according to the fourth commandment. So if you want to keep the true Sabbath, and you want to, and if you love God as you all claim you do, which I know you guys do, sincerity, sincerely do, you honestly want to keep the seven day Sabbath. A lot of the times, most people don't want to keep it because of pride or it's inconvenient. One of the biggest reasons, reasons is because it's inconvenient to keep the seven day Sabbath. But, anyways, this is the true Sabbath according to the commandment. If you love God and His commandments, you're going to keep the seven-day Sabbath. <clears throat> All right, that's it for now. I am the repair of the breach.